In today's video, we are going to set up some decorations. Also, I'm going to give you a tour of my bedroom. Let's get started. The design that we're going to do today has been going viral for such a long time, we just had to try it. It's like where you put different flowers, different candles, and there's like these big um, stands where you just put the flowers inside. I'm going to show you guys after a few minutes. See here, this is what I'm talking about. There's like these big stands, gold color stands or silver color stands, depending on um your style or for example if you have like a sil silver colored house i would say choose silver but like gold is more appealing to be honest and as you can see we just like put the flowers inside the pot and we are also going to like try out different flowers and put them inside like we're going to like try different like um designs and then we're going to like choose the best one if you didn't know we don't have like a party right now or anything we're just like trying like different um designs just to see which one looks better like what decor looks better um, according to our house right now i'm unwrapping these beautiful white flowers they look like roses in my opinion i think they're roses like tiny white roses what i love about all these sort of like types of tiny decorations they're so detailed and each of them look really beautiful this video is also inspiration so you guys could like gather different ideas like look at our video and look at someone else's and then you guys could be like Oh, you know what? I want to choose this idea. I want to choose this idea. I want, or maybe, maybe I might just get some inspiration and then imply my own ideas. I have one tip: if you're buying like flowers from any online store, for example, Shein or Team or really anything Amazon, do remember like whenever you guys get the flower, like use your hands, like two fingers, and like unstretch it. Um, I just did it right now with the rose. So hopefully you guys got a bit of an idea. And I've done it in the beginning also, cause the thing is it's all like scrunched up if that makes sense like it's not you gotta like spread it out so when you like for example if i have a flower right now i'm gonna like um squeeze it and like tuck it from the outside like just bend it if that makes sense this was like decoration number two right now i'm just like unpacking everything and then i'm gonna like i'm just like showing you guys what decorations we actually bought in detail and also i'm like unpacking everything and then i'm going to be setting them up and you guys could see the final result this is what I was talking about. When you get the flower, you have to like unscrunch it, if that makes sense. So this is like a demonstration of what I was talking about over here. Cause it was all scrunched up and like it, like to be honest with you, it wasn't looking too good. Like when you unscrunch it, it really gives it the more realistic and more open side of view, if that makes sense. It just looks like, it makes it look more pretty. Besides, flowers are supposed to be more open, not all scrunched up. But do keep in mind, the um, producers don't do this purposely. And when you like, when it's coming out from like different countries, it does, however, get scrunched up, which is why you have to unscrunch it when you get it. For the people who want to see the end result, like in more depth, you go to my mom's channel. The channel's name is Adila Lifestyle in Australia. Um, she has the same video, but it's completely different. My one is um, like organizing everything, like unraveling everything. Her one is more based on the end product. To be honest, it does take time. Like unraveling each and every flower and like unscrunching it, it does take time, but seriously, it's worth it. If just let's just suppose it takes you 20 seconds to unravel one flower, and the end result is more better than just like wasting, let's just say, five minutes of your time. If you're a person who just loves online shopping, I don't recommend buying candles or really anything that's a bit like delicate because. They kept we ordered like candles and they came out broken not these ones but like the other ones they were like broken and we couldn't really like put them on the stand like they weren't even standing up that's how broken and torn apart they were everything's coming together and looks really beautiful like the flowers like the pink one and like the white and the red the red is my favorite i've told you guys before but i just love the red rose it's a rose but we just like spread it out a bit and I don't know if you guys could see, but everything's just coming out, like, so perfectly and so beautifully. You might be thinking, if you have this much decoration, where are you going to put the food? Well, this type of decoration, like, it's like a modern type of decoration, but you're only going to, like, really use it if you have, like, three or four foods. Which is still a lot, because you can put the foods, look, um, it might look like a lot. But from like my perspective, like I've seen everything in real life, if that makes sense, it's actually not that like over the top and it's just like simple and perfect. So you can put the food on like the corners and like in the middle, like you can put it in like numerous spots. To be honest with you, you can put like six foods in there, like six plates in there, if that makes sense. The blue perfumes are my dad's and the pink ones are my mom's. For those of you who didn't know, 
there was a table in here before like a brown table like it was a wooden table and we just stopped that big table it was very massive we just stopped it with the yellow bed that's pretty much it in this video we just sort of like showed you guys our decor and how we set everything up and a bedroom tour thank you so much for watching bye